cereal day. Your lunch options for today will be sub or pan pizza. Yes, that's today on corn and fruit juice. In national news, a high school student saved up money for for two years to buy his friend an electric wheelchair. Here's CNN with the video. People assume to... For the past three years, I've, I've wanted to get him one, and I mean, I've been trying. It was uh, amazing to me because I didn't know what he had done for me. He loves to do for others, and he likes to take up for others. He's just a great young man. I feel like life's a little bit too short to be, you know, judging everybody. And, you know, you should think more of others than just yourself. Ramona Laskin Island Chain has been ringing church bell involves more than simply pulling a rope. Here's a great big story. People assume to ring a bell at the church is just by pulling one rope and one bell, but our church is different. It's not as easy as it looks. It does feel like a dance to me. My name is Opalina Patricia Lakanoff Gregory, and I play the bells at the Holy Ascension Cathedral here in Unalaska. Unalaska Island is located out in the Aleutian chain between the Pacific Ocean and the Bering Sea. The church is a very iconic place, and wherever you go on this island, you could see it. I've been ringing the bells maybe 35 years. To ring the bells, we go up a flight of steep stairs, step up onto the platform, and then you put your right foot on the one big bell, your left foot on the other big bell, and then the smaller bells, you twist your hands and then pull them. There are only a handful of other people that know how to ring the bells. There is no written music. I just have to play them by what I was taught from watching my dad. My dad has been playing the bells for 60 years. He learned from his godfather. I'm teaching my daughter and then also my great nieces. For me to learn to ring the bells and to pass on my dad's legacy, I think it's real important. It's an honor, of course, to be ringing the bells because you're ringing it for God to hear and for the people to hear, and that's important to me. Named the best in North America, seven years straight. It was just awarded another award by Airports Council, Council International. The award is based on passengers' direct opinions, and the airport has had 9.4 million passengers flying through it. Now to Noah and Derek go with this voice and weather. Thank you, anchors. Yesterday, our swim team swam in its final meet against Fall Creek Valley. The team did not bring home the win due to having no divers on the team and losing those points. If any seventh graders are interested in diving next year, plan on going out for the, for the team. Our sports birthday for today is Jeff Withy. He played one year of basketball in the University of Arizona, followed by three years of basketball in the University of Kansas. Now here's Derrico with the weather. Today's weather will be a high of 31 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Noah and Derrico. Remember, if you are interested in entering the art contest, which has the theme of bullying prevention, 
All posters are to be 12 by 18 inches on white paper or on poster board and should be submitted to Mrs. Rowe by March 15th, next Friday. Prizes for the 7th and 8th grade category are cash money up to $150. The latest edition of Belzer Blog is now available on the student launch page. Check it out to read articles about Belzer Sports, Science, Technology, and featured articles about women in honor of Women's History Month. The Elite Gaming Live Club will have its first meeting of the semester next week on the 13th in LGI from 4 to 6. Everyone is welcome, even if you haven't been before. Please see Mrs. Jones in room C111 for more information. Lawrence Township Schools will be having a clothing drive next week. More information will be brought to you tomorrow. What do you call a fake noodle? What? An impasto. Parampa. <laughs> a random fact for today. Oh, wait, it's your turn. A random fact for the day is that Stanley has appeared in every Marvel movie. Our important woman of the day is Janet Guthrie. In Janet's early life, she wanted to be an astronaut, but she got cut from the program because she didn't have a PhD. After this, she raced, she turned to racing and eventually was able to race at the Indy 500. With a broken wrist, even with her injury, she still finished ninth place. Have a great day, Bruins. Did you know that women have been a part of